back to Geek on Fleek on this episode. Welcome to the land of the dead. <gasps> Miguel? Mama Imelda. The Geekiverse is celebrating the release of Coco on Blu-ray and DVD this week. So we thought that it would be fun to do a tutorial about how to turn yourself into Mama Imelda. In case you haven't seen Coco, Mama Imelda is Miguel's great-great-grandmother who actually founded the family shoemaking business. I personally love her. She's sassy. She's stubborn. She's strong-willed. Reminds you of anyone? So Mama Imelda's makeup is actually based on the Dio de los Muertos Day of the Dead makeup. So that is going to be the concept behind this entire look that I'm actually going to be doing today. So we are going to just jump right on into this makeup tutorial. The very first thing that I did was moisturize my face and then the next thing that I'm going to do is actually prime it. So I'm going to take the Porefessional Pearl Primer and I'm just going to be putting this all over my face. By the way, I did narrate the video review for it, so make sure you check it out. Now that my face is all primed, the next thing that I'm going to do is actually just carve out the skeleton face. So I'm going to be taking this little grease pencil. I just checked. It's called Grease Makeup. I picked it up at Party City for Halloween makeup, and I'm actually just going to be carving out my cheekbones. Now that I did that, I'm actually going to carve out my eyes as well. Okay, now that I basically just outlined my face, I'm going to be taking this grease makeup. I'm going to be taking my damp beauty blender, and I'm just going to kind of try to white out the skeleton portion of my face. I don't really work with grease makeup because I normally just do everyday makeup, so we're going to see how this goes. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take some black grease paint and I'm going to then carve out my cheekbones. Then I'm going to take my Too Faced Shadow Insurance Primer and just put that on the lids of my eye. Then I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm going to take the color Royalty, which is this purple, and I'm going to put that all over my lids. I'm going to be using my Morphe E17 brush to kind of just pack it on my entire lid. And then I'm going to take my Morphe M504 brush and just kind of use that to blend it out just a little bit. I'm going to be obviously darkening my eyes, so I don't really care that much about blending it. But you want to blend a little bit, guys. You want to blend a little bit. All the makeup artists on YouTube are like, the key to this makeup look is to blend it. So obviously, since I want to be a legit makeup person on YouTube, just kidding. Then the next thing that I'm going to do is take this little, what is this, like a little grease pencil again and I'm going to fill in my eyes. Then 
Then I am going to take my Morphe E36 and I'm going to take the Jaclyn Hill palette again in the color Abyss, which is going to be that black, and I'm going to just kind of use that to go over my eyes and get a little bit closer. And then I'm going to take my close-up tart lash liner, and this is just in the color, I mean it's black, is it, was it called anything special? It's black. It's a black eyeliner pencil, grab one. I'm just going to do my waterline. <laughs> See, now I got, now I, damn it, I should have done this first! <laughs> you want it's your interpretation and it is what it is okay so mama imelda has these little um colorful like designs you know what i'm saying <laughs> so i am just taking my what is this this is all this sin my alme intense color eyeliner crayon I, it's purple guys just find purple find purple you do you like i said interpretation and i'm just going to be drawing those little those little things you know what i'm saying Then I'm going to take my Revlon Color Skinny Liquid Liner in the color Electric Blue and I'm going to go, um, I'm going to outline it and then put a little blue dot in each one. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to draw uh, Mama Imelda's little design that she has on her forehead. So for that, I am just taking... Why do I choose makeup in my collection that I can't pronounce? Yante Blue? Um, it's just a blue eyeliner pencil. And then I'm going to take my Urban Decay, which is an eyeliner pencil again, and Honey, and I'm going to do like her little designs that she has on her cheekbone. And then just to darken those up a little bit, I am going to take this Urban Decay. It's actually a um, lip liner in a red, but I'm going to use that to kind of go over those dots just a little bit. Then I'm going to use that same red to line my lips. And then I'm going to go over my lips in my Too Faced Melted um, Lip Color in Melted Fig.
Then I'm gonna put on some fake eyelashes and I'll be right back. So I put on my fake eyelashes, I put my hair up, put a little baby powder in my hair, and I put on this black high-necked shirt because I don't own anything purple that Mama Imelda wears. Obviously, if you're doing a cosplay, you'd want to do like the white bones in her neck and you could black out the rest of your neck as well, but just for the purpose of this, um, it's not perfect, you know, but, but it is, it's my interpretation of Mama Imelda. Now, the final thing that I want to do to complete this look is to just kind of carve out her nose. So I'm going to go back again with that grease uh, black pencil and I'm going to kind of try to do a upside down heart on my nose. And then I'm going to take my Morphe E36 brush again and I'm going to put it in the Jaclyn Hill Abyss uh, Black and I'm just going to go over that as well. And I'm going to take my Morphe M504 brush, I'm going to dip that into Abyss again, and I'm going to darken up my cheekbones. And then what you could do for the absolute finishing touch on this look, which I do not have, so it is what it is, but you would have to wear Mama Imelda's little hoops that she has in her ears. So this is basically my interpretation of Mama Imelda from Disney and Pixar's Coco. If you have any suggestions for any looks that you'd like me to create for next month, it could be anything from video games to comics to movies, make certain that you put that in the comment section below. And don't forget that Disney and Pixar's Coco comes out on Blu-ray and DVD this week. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.